how to grow your hair really long. Woo! Hey guys, so a lot of the time people ask me how I grow my hair so long and like what I do and stuff to get it this length. So my natural hair is pretty curly, like curly wavy. If you want to see my curly natural hair routine, you can click right here. Usually I style my hair with heat and that has resulted in pretty dry ends and split ends and yeah, not very healthy hair. So recently I have been researching ways to better moisturize my hair, protect my ends, stuff like that. So I'm going to be sharing my tips and tricks that I've learned with you guys. So my number one, I'm going to sound like such a hypocrite, but to grow your hair long and healthy, my number one tip is don't style your hair with heat. And as you can see, I have done the exact thing that I am saying not to do because I wanted to show you in this video how long my hair actually is. It goes down a little bit past my boobies and a couple more, like two more inches would be at my belly button. I know I said don't style your hair with heat. As much as you can avoid it, avoid it because it's just going to damage your hair. It doesn't matter if you use heat protectant, whatever, it's going to damage your hair. I need to start doing that more. I've been doing it more recently, just let my hair be natural and I'll like do something with it like a braid or put it in a bun or something. I prefer the way it looks when I straighten out the wave and I curl the ends. Um, I don't usually wear it straight like this, but like I said, I wanted to do it for the purposes of this video. So as much as you can, try to wear your hair natural and don't style it with heat. The next thing I would say is drink a lot of water. Everybody says that because it's true. You need to have moisture in your body so it can moisture. Oh my god, I hit my light. It can <laughs> moisturize your hair, duh. So drink a lot of water. The next thing seems kind of small, but it's pretty important for your hair. Don't brush your hair with a brush when it's wet because that will cause breakage. Don't put your hair up in a tight ponytail when it's wet. That will also cause breakage. Um, comb your hair with a comb to get out the tangles or with your fingers, but that might cause you to pull on your hair harder than you need to. But when you're combing your hair, start at the bottom with the comb, this is the comb, <laughs> and then work your way up. And that way you'll be getting out the knots at the bottom instead of starting at the top and yanking through them. So that's something you need to do. If you have one or can get one, get a silk pillowcase instead of the cotton one or whatever kind you have now because silk will make your hair beautiful while you sleep on it and it'll make your hair so much softer and cause less breakage. Alright, now the things I have been doing lately involve a lot of coconut oil so I hope you are not offended by the smell or texture of coconuts. Coconut oil is your best friend. Literally, Google uses for coconut oil. You'll, you will find so many. The list is infinite. Coconut oil is like a miracle oil. You can do so much with that stuff. What I have been doing recently is once a week before I'm going to shower, if I'm going to shower the next day, I will put coconut oil all over my scalp, all over my hair, every part of my hair saturated in coconut oil. And I'll gently wrap it up on my head and put my Turby Twist towel over it. You can use like a plastic bag or a shower cap or something and then I go to sleep on that. And then the next morning I will wash my hair and the first time I did it I noticed a huge difference. It was crazy. My hair was like, wasn't like fried feeling and like just felt like healthier, so much softer, more moisturized. It was amazing. I love the smell of coconut so it was great. Oh yeah, sorry if I'm touching my hair a lot in this video. Whenever I have really straight hair, I tend to rub my fingers through it a lot and it's kind of annoying, sorry. But um, the coconut oil that I use is unrefined and I've read that unrefined is better as opposed to refined. But, I mean, if you have refined, just freaking use it, who cares. But the types of oil, you don't have to use coconut oil, you can use argan oil, jojoba oil, <laughs> um, Pretty much anything, olive oil, just don't use vegetable oil because that I've read that that's not going to work that great. Something else you can do with the oil is give your scalp.
scalp and oil massage before you shower. Every time before you shower, if you can remember, like five minutes before, get your coconut oil or olive oil or whatever, put it on your scalp and just massage your hair and that's gonna like activate the hair follicles and they're gonna be like, yippee! And they're gonna wanna grow, <laughs> grow your hair out. You're gonna be super ready to grow. It feels really nice. It's going to help your hair. Lots of people do that. Lots of people stick by that. I have been doing it recently. Do it. Um, another thing I've been using the coconut oil for is as a detangling conditioner in the shower. So along with my regular conditioner that I use, I will add in a little bit of coconut oil and that will help me get through the tangles so easy. It's crazy. So that's another good use for that. Oh, another tip is try not to wash your hair as much. Try to wash your hair like every three days if you can. Recently I've been putting a lot of oils in my hair so my hair's been more weighed down and it seems like... Bunda? Hello Bunda! Okay, so since you are going to be trying not to wash your hair every day or even every other day, what you can do if your roots get kind of greasy or a little too oily, um, you can use a dry shampoo, like this one. I really love this one. It smells so good. Um, or like this one. This one works just as great and it will smell good. Or you can use, if you don't have a dry shampoo, you can use cornstarch, which I have never tried, but people say that it works, so give it a try. Or you can use uh, baby powder. My mom usually does this one, but I don't like the smell of baby powder, so I'll just go pick up... Um, But, like I was saying, I don't like the smell of baby powder, so I will just go buy dry shampoo. So, lately I have been using Relief. Relief. Can you not? Lately I have been using um, the Nexus Oil Infinite. Lately I have been using the Nexus Oil Infinite. Uh, oil infusing system shampoo and the smell is just okay it's not bad or anything but it's not my favorite but it really has been helping my hair um, it's step one of like two or three steps yeah the oil infusing system there's like three steps but I did not purchase the next two steps which I'm assuming is maybe like a conditioner and an oil or something um, I use a different conditioner this one works perfectly well by itself. Um, it says it is silicone free, rebalances hair by rebuilding broken bonds and replenishing nutrients within, leaving hair responsive. Enriched with babasu, babasu, I don't know what that is, and marula oil, concentrated 100% pure elastin protein. Richly cleanses, replenishing lipids, nourishing hair within. So you get the idea. It nourishes your hair and makes it stronger. And then for conditioner, I have been using the Organics brand Quenched Sea Mineral 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 Moisture Conditioner. And it looks like this. And it smells really good actually. And I was using the shampoo by them that looks just like this bottle before. So I use this as my conditioner. It says, quench dry damaged hair with this nutrient-rich blend of hydrating sea minerals along with healing algae to wrap split ends, repairing moisture. I use this as my conditioner and then I add a little bit of coconut oil sometimes to help detangle better. And then when I get out of the shower, um, remember, don't use towels because that's going to hurt your hair really bad. Use a t-shirt or if you have like a microfiber towel like a Terby Twist. Um, I know I keep talking about it, I'm not sponsored by them, but that'd be cool if I was, right? Anyway, I just really like the turby twist. Do something like that, put your hair up, and I let it just like soak up the excess moisture for a little bit, and with my hair still damp, I let it out of the turban thing. I have this little bottle of olive oil, and it's for like hair, skin, and nails, and I use it on my nails sometimes after I do my nails. Because, or after I take off nail polish because the alcohol and the acetone stuff is like really drying on my skin so I usually will put some of the olive oil on like a cotton pad and then just rub it on my nails. I like to put the 
oil on the ends of my hair and sometimes I sleep with my hair in a top bun and that's kind of bad for your under area. It's kind of bad for the pieces of hair, like the baby hairs and the hairs like on your neck that are in the back that are exposed when you're tossing and turning and you know ripping them to shreds while you sleep. So I usually put some olive oil on those hairs and then on the ends of my hairs and I just like rub it in and it helps to moisturize the very ends. Really, if you want your hair to grow, don't cut it, obviously. <laughs> That's like the most important thing. And then try not to trim it, but only if you really need to. Like trim it, I would say maybe once a year, like every six months or so. Even if you don't do that, you can do the method where you just take your hair, a little section, you twist it, and then with your scissors you cut off all the pieces that are sticking out and that should help cut off all the split ends and dry end pieces. Oh, something else that you can do, it's kind of like when you wash your face with warm water and then you splash your face with cold water after to close up your pores. Um, after you do your hair routine in the shower and you're ready to get out, real quick just rinse your hair with some cold water and that will like close up the little hair shaft to like help prevent it from getting split ends and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. Something else that I do, I take a supplement every day if I can remember. I take the biotin pill. It's for promoting healthy hair, healthy skin, healthy nails, that type of thing. And I just take it with my breakfast or my lunch. Uh, take it every day and it should really help nourish your skin and your hair and your nails. <laughs> if you don't want to go out and buy a hair mask to use, you can make your own. Just mix one cup of unrefined coconut oil with one tablespoon of almond oil, macadamia oil, and jojoba oil. So one tablespoon each of those. I would maybe do it once a week. If you're already doing a uh, coconut oil by itself, you probably don't have to do this, but you put that on your hair, saturate your hair with it, especially your ends, maybe even do you know a little massage on your scalp with it. Put your hair up, chill for like an hour. I keep hitting this. Put your hair up, chill for like an hour, or sleep in it, and then wash your hair the next day. That should really help strengthen your hair. All of those oils are going to fill up your hair strands with fatty acids, and when they're rinsed out using shampoo, it's really going to like seal it into your hair. So those are just some of the tips and tricks that I have learned and have been trying. So to recap, basically, don't cut your hair unless you absolutely need to trim it. Don't wash your hair more than like three times a week. No heat! Don't use heat. Try to learn to love your natural hair. Even if it looks crazy to you, it probably looks really beautiful to many other people. Um, do a weekly hair mask with coconut oil or any kind of oil other than really like olive oil. And massage your scalp with it. And put it on your ends when you get out of the shower. And if you do all these things, your hair should really start growing healthier, stronger, longer, better, more beautiful, shinier and I really think you're gonna take a notice to it. So yeah, so if you guys have any other tips or ideas on how to get your hair healthier or longer, comment down below. I wanna see what you guys do. Tell me how your hair growth journey has been going for you. If you found anything in this video helpful, please thumbs up and comment down below your feedback. Don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time, bye.